I want to show you how God's been working in my life. Um, one of the things I've been praying for right now is for me to be able to trust God more. Um, he's consistently proven himself to me. I'm not saying that he has to, but he's made his presence felt. And still, I struggle with anxiety. If you're struggling with anxiety, that's proof right there that you're not trusting God wholly, 100%. And I'm going to give you guys an example of what happened um, where I actually trusted God. And it just happened so naturally. This is what I'm saying. Prayer works. We have no power. We have no power to, to do things. Um, but God does have the power. To, God has the power to move mountains. He can, God can do miraculous things. And this is one of those examples where um, I lost my phone. I have a, a very good iPhone Max. And um, it's fairly new. It's not the latest model, but it's fairly new. And my whole life is on there. All my um, crypto exchange, my uh, stock market, my Robin Hood, all that, my Chase Bank, everything, my BBVA, you know, all, all my banking is on there, you know. And um, so I lost my phone deep in the mountains. You guys have seen where I live. I live deep in the mountains of Andalusia. And so it could have been anywhere. And I lost it because I was with my dog. And I had some shorts, some workout shorts. I had very small pockets and I had all kinds of stuff in my pocket. So that's a big mistake right there. Um, you know, and then I had his, his chain and then I had his neck, his neck thing, you know, his, his collar and then all kinds of stuff, water bottle and all that. And so he got it. He got frisky. My dog got frisky and he wanted to play. He wanted to run. He gets these spurts. He's a young, he's a pup. He's five months old. So he got this uh, burst and wanted to run. And so I said, you know, let's do it. Started running, boom, 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 whatever. We ran for a while, we jogged, you know, and then um, it was getting dark already. And then we had to climb up some stairs or whatever. Um, some, you know, uh, they're, you know, makeshift stairs uh, to make it easier to climb. And so then we climb up there and then we arrive home and I'm opening the gate and I'm like, where's my phone? And so it was dark. It was getting dark, very close to dark, um, to complete dark. And so then I traced my steps, couldn't find it. Then I told my wife, then my wife went with the flashlight and the dog couldn't find it. Um, we couldn't find it, right? My whole life's on there, dude. And this, I've lost my phone before and I've had like a complete and total meltdown, like a freak out. Um, because like I guess that happens to me. I get anxiety really fast. I'm going to lose everything, you know, this and that. And um, it's happened before. And then this time it didn't. This time it didn't happen. My wife came back all sad and like, you can't lose this phone. Everything is there. And I'm like, I know, I know. And um, I was just calm. And I said, um, we'll look for it in the morning. You know, I'm like, I'll wake up as soon as the sun uh, rises and I'll go look for it. And I had full confidence that I was going to find it. You know, I really did. Um, and so uh, I did just that. I woke up in the morning and it seems like God took me right to it, man. I didn't even struggle. Like I just walked and then where I thought it was going to be. And there it was, even though yesterday I looked there at night and um, couldn't find it. And she did too, couldn't find it. But in the morning, it was there. And that to me is a proof of how God works. And the one of the things that I wanted to talk about is how I had instant calm yesterday, last night. I had, instead of anxiety, I had calm. And I have a hard time going to sleep um, because I don't get sleepy at night. I have so many things on my mind. I want to work. I want to keep creating. I want to keep doing things. Um, but yesterday, out of all days, the day that I lose my phone, I get this like complete sense of calm over me. That's the Lord, guys. That's God. That's God's presence. It was complete calm, sleepiness. And I told my, I told my, my sister, my sister, my, my wife and my mom, I told him because my mom was worried too. I told him, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep. I'm just going to go to sleep. And I fell asleep before my wife, which is also rare. Um, I knocked out, you know, and that is God doing work. I prayed. I said, Father Lord, I can not, not be anxious on my own. I can't fight anxiety on my own but you can you're a miraculous god please father lord help me to trust you more by removing anxiety removing fear removing doubt and sure enough that's exactly what happened and these are the type of things that happen throughout my life 
And it's just God con continually proving himself to you, you know, like you need to trust me, you need to trust me, you know, so I just want to stay within God's presence. I want to stay within this message that he gave me of complete trust. And that's the message for you guys today. Trust the Lord and you can do it. You can't say, okay, I'm going to trust the Lord. You have to pray about it. You have to pray, say, Father, Lord, I know I don't trust you as much as I should. You're a miraculous God. Do what you do so that I can trust you more. Help me to see your glory. Prayer works, guys. Prayer works. Open up your heart. Open up your mind. We have small brains. We are not intelligent whatsoever in terms of God. There's no way we can understand God. We can't begin to understand his power, you know, so don't question. Welcome your and strengthen your spirituality by welcoming the Lord. You know, um, spiritual strength is um, more important than physical strength, more important than, you know, financial strength. You know, the power of your wallet, all that is more important, guys. But we just society has programmed us so much to focus on our bodies, so much to focus on our finances. You know, so we actually put our spirituality on the back burner when if you put your spirituality first, so many doors will start to open to you because now you're doing what God wants you to do in life, not what you want to do. And that's what's going to lead to um, fulfillment and true satisfaction. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this message. Just another example of how the Lord works. Uh, I love you guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more uh, inspirational stuff like this, guys, because I'm going to keep sharing the way the Lord is working in my life and hopes that you guys come closer to Christ. So love you guys. Peace.